Hi there, in this video today I want to talk about assignments in Teams. This is a great feature in Teams. I'm looking at a class team here, so there's a, a class notebook in there and I'm going to the assignments tab which will be built in here. So I can go and look at the, all of the assignments for one particular team or if you notice on the left here I could look at assignments for all of my teams if you had assignments going in different teams. All right, so um, I have different views of looking at assignments, whether it's just a list of assignments, or I can look at it kind of like a calendar view and see when my assignments are coming up in the future or in the past, okay? So um, that's different views of assignments. Um, I'm going to go to create a new assignment. Now, the first of all, the options here, I can either create a new assignment uh, where I can uh, put a resource like a Word document, an Excel file, even a page in a OneNote, or I can go new quiz, which is going to use the power of forms to create an assignment, which is really cool. Or I can go from existing, so I might have already created an assignment and I can rehash that assignment. So I might have had one from last year. I can say, yep, here's that assignment. I want to use it exactly the same and just change the dates. Okay, so uh, let me go to new assignment to start with here. Um, I'm going to assign it to this class here. Can you do it to multiple classes? Yes, you can. So I can choose additional classes that I'm going to give this assignment to. Let's say you had two class teams that were studying the same course. You could do it that way. Um, I can assign it to specific students. So not all students. I can say I want it to go to this student and that student and that student. Okay, so I've only got three particular students that I want that to go to, or I could just by default, it goes to the whole class. The due date over here, so I can change the due date to when that's gonna be due in and the time that that's due, okay? I love this one here, schedule to assign later. So the students will not see this, so I can get this all together, but they will not see it until I go back in here and untip that so or give the assignment date okay so I'd say I'm getting this all ready but I don't want them to the assignment to appear for them until a particular time when it will appear that's great late turn in I'm gonna leave is allowed so even after this time they're still able to submit if you want to cut off at a particular time at um, 2 p.m. on Tuesday the 2nd of April then they will not be able to submit their assignment after that due date if you turn that off. And I can have points as well. So I can mark this assignment if I want to and say this is going to be out of 20 or whatever it is. Uh, great thing down the bottom here is the rubrics. We can use rubrics um, to grade and these assignments are key. So I can upload a rubric if I already have a CSV file or an Excel file that has rubric in there. You can put it in there or you can create a new rubric. You give it a title, give it a description, I can have a number of descriptors down the left hand side here, excellent, good, fair, poor, I can change those if I want to, and I can add more along the side there as well, okay? So, um, so this is category one, category two, and category three, excellent, good, fair, poor, um, yep, all of those, and I'm gonna give this rubric a name, and just call it uh, test rubric and I can give a description if I want. Uh, points, I'm gonna have points on here. So I can say that um, excellent is gonna be worth four, three, two, and one. I can change the point value there in the rubric. And I can also change the weighting of each of these three criteria, which is really nice. So I can say that this first criteria is actually really important. So that's gonna be worth 50. This one's gonna be worth 25. And this one here is gonna be worth 25 okay so I can uh, do some really nice scaling within the rubric creator here uh, and I'm just going to click on attach so I'm going to give my assignment a title so assignment 1 2019 I can actually add categories for these uh, assignments so um, if, if you want to you can have different people can search by these categories later on it might be a test assignment uh, practical, theoretical, all those sorts of things. Instructions, so I can say complete the page in Word or OneNote or whatever it is. And resources, so my resources, what can I do? I can choose a file uh, from OneNote, uh, sorry, from OneDrive here, and that can be the file that um, students have to complete and give to me. So it could be a, a Word document or something like that. Um, 
a blank document here so we could just say the signature you can see that uploads that and the the students will edit their own copy and that copy is the thing that I'm going to see um, when I go to mark these assignments uh, if I add another resource I can go to our class notebook so there's a notebook because this is a class team there's a notebook a class notebook associated with this team so um, I'm going to say for my class notebook if I go to the content library and in topic one I've got a page there that's called first assignment okay and it's going to be copy and distribute this uh, into the students assignment so if I go to um, let's go this is a homework quiz all right so I've just taken a page that was in the content library it could be in the teacher only section if it's an assessment more likely and then I've distributed that page as you saw into each of the students notebooks and that is what they're going to fill in so my instructions here complete the page in Word and complete that page on OneNote. And I can add other kinds of resources as well. I can upload a new file, I can give them a link to a website, all kinds of things, or just upload a file from my device. So there's lots of different options there in the resources. Okay, so I think we're all set up now. We've got everything going here. So I'm going to, um, let's um, turn that off. So I want this to be scheduled right away. And I'm going to click on Assign. Now I could just click on Save, so not assigned yet, so everything's saved. And then when I'm ready to go, I can go in here and I can click on sign. So you can see now if I go to that date that the students have got that assignment uh, given to them. And I'll be ready in the next video to show you how you can go through and then mark the assignments in Teams. Yeah, no.